I have been shocked to hear home buyers say that they were completely unaware of the cost that they had when buying their first home. I don't want you to be in that place, so today we're gonna unpack all the costs because there should be no such thing as a hidden cost in real estate. So everybody knows you need a down payment. That is the cost that buyers tend to fixate on. But the first cost that I want you also to make sure you include when you're budgeting for buying a home is the home inspection. So on average, a home inspection ranges approximately $350 to $500. What causes that variation? Location, if it's really remote, if it's further out, you may get a trip charge. And home size is the biggest thing that may dictate that change in the price. So make sure that you have your home inspection accounted for because that is a step you don't want to skip because that is what protects you to make sure that the home is free of health and safety concerns or that you know that you're going into that home with eyes wide open. The second cost you need to be aware of is the mortgage application fee, which typically is really an appraisal fee. So for that, you're looking at typically around $400. I've seen it go up to 500. I've seen it sometimes come in a little lower. It depends on your lender. But the appraisal, if you are using a loan, is a necessary step for the bank to ensure that they are lending on a home that the value actually is supported and so that is a fee that you are going to need to pay. And that is one that happens early in the process. So you need to account for that before you get to closing day. The next cost I wanna talk about is one that you may or may not end up incurring. It just depends on what your decision is. And that is a survey. So some people need a survey. They're planning on putting up a fence right away. Maybe the property lines are unclear. Um, but you know, at the same time, you may decide you don't want a survey because it is an added expense. It can range anywhere from a few hundred dollars up to about $1,500. So that is a decision you have to make if you want a survey. But if you know that that's something that's important to you, you're gonna wanna plan for that in the beginning. This next one is a big one that you are going to want to make sure that you think about before buying a home, and that is closing costs. So typically we tell you to plan for around 3% for closing costs of the purchase price. Now 3%, that is going to cover you fully. There's a good chance, however, that you could end up coming under that 3%. It's just a good benchmark so you know that you have enough. In a seller's market, oftentimes you cannot get the seller to pay for those closing costs. In a buyer's market, though, you may be able to get the seller to pay those closing costs. So some of the fees that are included in the closing costs include mortgage insurance if you're using a loan. Another cost that is in there are your what we call prepaid. That's your property taxes and insurance that are escrowed. Now, if you put 20% down or more, you can choose to not include those, so then your closing costs are less, and you pay those then every time that they come up semi-annually. If you want to escrow those property taxes and insurance, though, you have to prepay that. Uh, typically, it's anywhere from a few months up to a year, depending on a lot of different factors. So with that, all of that together adds to a pretty big chunk Another aspect within there are your actual closing fees. So the title company charges a fee for going to closing. You have things like recording your deed with the county. There are several different kind of smaller charges within there. So that's why I say closing costs is sort of this umbrella term that covers a lot of different fees within it. Um, and that is something that when we sit down to talk about you buying a home, where we can really dig in and unpack all of those specific little fees. Now, the final cost I'm gonna talk about, this is a bonus one. This is one that I feel like a lot of buyers is sort of think, oh, this isn't gonna cost me much, whatever, but it can be significant and that is moving fees. So it's great that you saved the money for the down payment, got your closing costs covered, you got that inspection, your appraisal, you did all of these things, now you have to actually move. And this can be anything from, you know, barring family members' trucks and having people over for pizza and beer on moving day, to hiring a company such as Prolo Moving or Two Men in a Truck or different local companies that help with moving. These costs can really widely range. So, you know, if you're talking the borrow a family member's truck, provide pizza and beer, you might be talking about a couple hundred dollars. But if you are talking about hiring movers, this could be several thousand dollars. And also within there, you have moving supplies, packing supplies. You get the idea. There are costs involved in moving other than your down payment that you need to be aware of upfront. I often hear people say, you know, I've got enough for the down payment and I'm gonna be stretching to make it. You don't wanna be in that situation because there are so many other aspects to making that move that you want to account for. Now, if you're overwhelmed after hearing all of this, it sounds like, you know, there's all these different fees, you don't know which one gets paid when, you don't know where to find a home inspector, you don't know how the appraisal works, you don't need to know any of that right now. 
All the point of this video is, is to tell you that you need to just be prepared financially to understand that there are costs beyond that down payment. When we sit down, when you go to start your home buying process, I like to do a buyer consultation where we go over all of this, we unpack it, and I give you actual materials, a home buyer guide where these are laid out that you can go back and reference. So don't be overwhelmed, don't be worried about it. I am here to walk you through the process and make sure you are informed every step of the way. The biggest takeaway again is just remember, you need to make sure you're financially prepared to buy that home.